Hey guys, what's up? I am back with a brand new video and it's time to do a speed test comparison between the Realme GT Master Edition versus the Poco R3 and the Poco R3 is powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 870 processor with 8GB of RAM while the Realme GT Master Edition is powered by Snapdragon 778G 5G processor with 8GB of RAM as well. On the back, we have triple cameras on both phones. We have 48 megapixel main camera on the Poco F3 versus a 64 megapixel main camera on the Realme GT Master Edition. And the Realme GT Master Edition is also manufactured in Pakistan. That's a really good thing. And the back is made up of glass of the Poco F3. While on the Realme GT Master Edition, we have a leather type finish on the back, only in the gray color. Another color is give you a glass back. And the frame of the Poco F3 is made up of aluminum. No information about the Realme GT Master Edition. Also, we have a side mounted fingerprint scanner on the Poco versus the in display on the Realme GT Master Edition. On the bottom, we does not have any headphone jack on the Poco F3, which is available on the Realme GT Master Edition. Also, we have dual speakers versus a single speaker on the Realme GT. So, in this video, I'm gonna show you how much a difference between the Snapdragon 870 versus the Snapdragon 778G processor. And guys, now let's quickly boot both of these phones up at the same time. Let's see which one is going to be the fastest one. And the logo is came up first on the Poco as compared to the Realme GT Master Edition. Also, we have Android 11 on both phones. We have Mi UI version 12.5. While on the Realme, we have Realme UI, which is a version 2.0. And and the Poco F3 more faster when it comes to putting up and the Realme GT Master Edition it is also right behind there about one second difference between these two devices when it comes to booting up and guys now let's talk about the displays between these two devices on the Realme GT Master Edition we have a 6.4 inch Full HD Super AMOLED display with 120Hz refresh rate while on the Poco F3 we have a 6.67 inch Full HD AMOLED display with 120Hz refresh rate as well and both phones also has a punch hole which is on the center on the Poco F3 as compared on the left hand side on the Realme GT Master Edition and the punch hole on the Poco F3 it is it is much smaller as compared to the Realme GT Master Edition also you can see the bottom chain everything is closed up in the background no application is running in the background also we have same Wi-Fi network on both phones now let's start off with the phone dialer that is exactly the same on both phones next on the list is the settings let's see which one is faster more faster on the Realme GT Master Edition. Now let's go to the display. And you can see we have 120Hz refresh rate on the Poco as well as on the Realme GT Master Edition. Now check out some more application. Amazon Shopping. Again we have Snapdragon 870 versus a Snapdragon 778G. Little more faster on the Poco F3. Now let's see the scrolling and that is fees exactly the same on both phones. Again we have 120Hz refresh rate. No difference between these two devices. Now I'll check out some more application. Now let's see Candy Crush Saga and the Candy Crush faster on the Poco F3 as compared to the Realme GT. So here's the speakers of the Poco F3 looks like. Max volume and you can see we have a lot of bass. Here's the speakers of the Realme GT. We only have single speaker but I would say that and the single speaker it is also really good on the Realme GT but again not as good as the Poco F3 now let's see Instagram faster on the Realme GT now let's see pin out let it move faster on the Poco F3 if I'm not wrong now let's open snapchat exactly the same now let's open Spotify and the Spotify exactly the same now let's open Subway Surfer when we have Snapdragon A70 more faster on the Poco F3 as compared to the Realme GT. Now let's open the PUBG Mobile on both phones. Let's see which one is more faster in the PUBG Mobile. F3 looks faster. Let's see. Yes, it is a little bit more faster there. Also, we have smooth graphics with extreme frame rate on both phones. After that, we have ultra frame rate on the Realme GT Master Edition. Extreme frame rate, which is also available in the Venus HD HDR. And we also have Ultra HD on the Poco F3, no 90 FPS on the Poco F3. Now let's open the Temper N2 and the Temper N2 faster on the Poco F3. 
and you can see this time the difference is little bit more as compared to in the PUBG mobile game but not a huge difference and you can see 2 or 3 second difference there now let's open up the tutor and the tutor faster on the realme gt now let's open zedge and the zedge let it move faster on the poco f3 as compared to the realme gt last time launching the cameras on both phones default camera application now let's see that which one is going to be the fastest one more faster on the poco f3 as compared to the realme gt okay guys now let's see internet on speed imc default google chrome on both phones now let's open wikipedia.org that is exactly the same let's see the scrolling and that is face again it is very very smooth on both phones 120 hertz now let's open english a little more faster on poco f3 this time let's see the scrolling again no issue whatsoever and next on the list is the apple.com apple.com faster on the faster on the realme gt as compared to the f3 f3 is taking a lot of time and you can see so now let's see the scrolling on both phones again it is very very smooth no issue whatsoever and guys now let's see the ram management on both phones again we have 8 gp of ram and both phones also has a extended ram feature now let's see that who is performed good in the ram management we have a lot of application in the background now let's start off with the phone dialer no refresh now let's see settings no refresh Amazon shopping Amazon shopping is cut refresh on the realme GT now let's open candy crush refresh Instagram same no refresh let's see pin out refresh on the realme GT now let's see snapchat no refresh now let's open Spotify is cut refresh again now let's see subway suffer refresh now let's see PUBG mobile no refresh this time on both phones now let's open tamper and to refresh now let's opening up the tutor no refresh zedge that is seems like in-app refresh last way back to the internet browser and that is refresh on the realme gt but not on the poco f3 and cast over i have to say regarding the app's opening speed as you can see that the poco f3 is performed more faster as compared to the realme gt master edition in the game app loading time as well as in system based application in terms of the RAM image wise and the POCO F3 is performed really good in the RAM image band as compared to the Realme GT Master Edition. On the POCO F3 we have 4500mAh battery size with 33W super fast charging while on the Realme GT we have 4300mAh battery size with 65W super fast charging. That's about it and thank you so much for watching this speed test comparison between the Realme GT Master Edition versus the POCO F3. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below subscribe to my channel for daily tech videos and follow me on instagram and twitter as well and i will see you in my next video peace out